Girls of Reddit, what subtle hints do you drop when you want a guy to ask you out? Girls can be hard to read, but fear not. Fellow clueless men, with this handy guide, you too can be a master of your language. Decipher the intent of your female partner with these quick, easy to learn tips. Do you know the difference between a laugh and a giggle? Girls do. A laugh is strong and masculine. It goes like this, haha. <laughs> Girls can laugh when they find something funny, but if they giggle, it's to show interest and affection. Giggling is more quaint and endearing, like this, hee <laughs> hee. If a girl giggles at you, you should probably ask her out. Girls do not smile, unless they are interested in you. If you see a girl smiling at you, it means she wants you to kiss her. Everyone knows that when a girl bites her lip, it's because she's tingling down there. But take caution, if you see a girl with chat lips, it's probably because she has been biting it a lot for someone else, or multiple people. If you want your girl, to be unsoiled by the hands of others, look for nice smooth lips. Semicolon close bracket. Q. When is a question not a question? Uh, when it's an answer. If a girl tells you her plans without you asking, she is letting you know that she will be busy indefinitely. At least, as far as you're concerned. Once a girl tells you what she will be doing later, don't bother asking her out. She's not interested. Most girls only blink when they have dry eyes, but on that rare occasion, when she wants your D, she will be blinking extra or not at all, or just a little bit more or less than necessary. If you notice a discernible change in her blinking habits, don't waste any more time by not making a move. Ever look at a girl's feet? Chances are you haven't, because real girls don't have any. This is where the term floating, footless woman comes from. If you really want to wow the object of your affection, show your expertise of the opposite gender by noticing her lack of PD this means feet in Spanish. This may be a little too subtle for the average guy, but it's invaluable for the master pickup artist. Different color eyes can mean different things. For example, blue eyes are a sign of interest, while brown and hazel eyes show true affection. If you notice your girl's eyes changing color in the middle of conversation, pay attention. But watch out, red eyes mean no thanks and yellow are a sign of the cholera. I hope this has helped. Now go get em. Tiger. Semicolon closed bracket semicolon closed bracket. The female mating call is usually you're so funny. For me though, I just try to make conversation at any possible time. If there is an awkward silence, and then she continues to try to keep up the conversation, she wants to date you so hard. I laugh a lot in your presence. If I said I have somewhere to be quite soon, and I'm still around, but I really should get going. Shit now I'm late, I'm just lingering in your presence. I'm quite forward, so I'll probably ask you out anyways, or go for the kiss, if we are out having a good time and the moment's right. I hope you'd get that one. Fellow clueless guy here. Here are some answers from similar threads. If a girl says, I really wanna see that movie, but none of my friends slash family want to see it, she's asking you to the movies. Slash you slash cupcake warrior find reasons to touch his arm, laugh at his jokes, stare at his mouth, slingshot my panties in his direction and wink, slash you slash deck pumps underscore and underscore elders. Late to the thread, but if you're in a big group and someone makes you all laugh, most people immediately look at the person in the group they are most attracted to, so if you notice she looks at you, when she laughs there's a good chance, slash you slash ocalis. If you're talking to a cashier, and she tells you for any reason, when she gets off work, she wants you to come back. If a girl gives you her number, on some level she is interested. Meaning she gives it to you without you prompting her first, though often if she gives it to you, after you ask her it still means she's INTERESTED asterisk. If a girl repeatedly mentions how she wishes she had a nice guy to date, she is interested. If a girl asks about your relationship status out of the blue, she is interested. If a girl you don't know approaches you, and asks for the time, but then lingers in your vicinity, she wants you to come back up, and approach her, because she is interested. If a girl who is not a best friend type suggests watching a movie, when you two are hanging out alone, she wants something to happen. She is interested. If a girl says she needs to talk to you, but then it ends up being something really stupid, like I don't know what color to dye my hair, then she probably chickened out of telling you she likes you. Physical touching while a girl is having a conversation with you usually means she is interested. 
Anytime a girl seems to giggle way more than she should during a conversation, it means she is interested. If a girl you're not very close friends with mentions the fact she broke up with her ex and is looking for someone new, by god make a move, she is interested. This could mean it's just a rebound relationship, but nonetheless she's interested. A girl almost never talks about wanting a one night stand to a guy, unless she wants to with him. This is more on the topic of sex than dating, but I thought I'd include it anyway. This one blows my mind, that some guys miss. If a girl asks to sit next to you somewhere where there are other viable empty places slash tables to sit at, she's interested. If a girl starts talking about how well you two get along, she is interested in you. If a non-best friend girl is with her friends and ditches them to hang out with you, she is interested in you. If a girl tells you she's lonely at home, by means of text, email, facebook, phone, etc, etc, she wants you to come over. She most likely is interested in you. If a girl says she's really cold in an obviously warm environment, she probably wants you to warm her up, either through a hug or occasionally offering your jacket chivalrous. She's interested in you. If a girl starts complaining about how all the guys just want her for six, and that she wishes she had a sweet guy, she's interested in you. However, I can't guarantee she'd really be the type most guys would want to date. At the same time, this can be one of the few less obvious hints, where she is testing how you react, and judging your answer to see if you're someone she's interested in. If a girl says she's new in town and wants someone to show her around, 9 times out of 10 it's because she's trying to find an excuse to be around you one on one. If a girl seems to be smiling with you way more than she does when she talks to other people, she's interested in you. I know it's cliche, but a lot of girls still twirl their hair when flirting. Girls usually stop doing this by the time they are 21. A girl who keeps beating herself up on her looks, not only is she fishing for a compliment, she's fishing for your compliment. Though this usually means she's interested in you, she could just be looking for attention. If she does it often to multiple people, it's probably the latter. In most contexts, if a girl asks you how her outfit looks, she wants you to check her out. She is interested in you. If a girl talks about how long she spent getting ready and then asks your opinion on how she looks, she did it to impress you. If she does this when you and her had specifically made plans to hang out, it's even more explicit. Exceptions to this rule are weddings, parties, etc, etc. Girls like confidence. If you think a girl is interested in you, go for it. The worst that happens is a no. If she has a worse reaction. She's someone you wouldn't want to be around anyway. If a girl is constantly leaving you to talk very briefly to her other female friends, then runs back to you to talk more. She is interested in you, and is filling them in on all the details. This is especially true, if it's accompanied by a lot of smiling. 1. Puts shoulders back, and puffs out chest. 2. Moves hair behind shoulders. 3. Gets up and starts walking towards you. 4. Circles your chair three times. 5. Urinates on the ground. 6. Gets on all fours, points her ass at you and grunts. Dash. Okay, we get it. You would ask out the guy first, but not all girls would. And we're wanting to know the hints that are dropped by those girls, so we don't humiliate ourselves. If you don't drop hints, then you don't need to answer. Rant. Just go out with a group of people and watch them. It's usually painfully obvious to everyone, except the people involved when someone is interested in another person. Lots of arm touching and standing close, and offering to do small things for them. I guarantee you'll learn some of the tricks just by looking. If I'm looking you in the eyes and smiling a lot, I'm interested. If I'm unable to hold a conversation like a normal human being, but keep asking you dumb questions, it is because I'm very interested, and therefore I'm believable nervous. Just give me a little time slash a few drinks, and it will get better. I have just waited, until I got to know them better, and ask if they want to get together just to hang out. If they say no, they said no to hanging out, and I get the hint, that they are not interested in anything of the relationship sort. If they say yes, then cool, we'll hang out. Then I just leave it up to the guy, to plan their next one. If they don't plan the next one, then I can take the same hint. However, if a guy asks me out slash, 
tells me he likes me, and I don't feel the same way back. I do my very best to let them down gently, but make sure they get the message I'm not interested, keep the awkwardness down as much as I can, and proceed as if nothing was said it's not like anything has really changed. I don't see why people need to make a big gossipy deal about it. For advice for the guys, start off with inviting them along for group events and stuff like that. It's easier to take slow steps and make sure that she's receptive to the invites and then work your way to one on one stuff. That way, if she keeps saying no, it's not as big of a deal. If it's something more casual than a date, if she shoots you down and acts like a rude little girl, you have dodged a bullet. You may not realize it right after she says no, but once you move on, you will see it as the blessing that it is. Sorry for the wall of text, good luck, I'm a female by the way. The last time I wanted to subtly drop hints, I thought screw that for a game of soldiers and just asked him to the pub. Then I plied him with beer and witty repartee before leaning over and kissing him. I think he got the message. Honestly, I've come to the conclusion. That life is too short to wait around for Mr. Right to grow some cojones and ask you out. If you're both single and you know he's emotionally available, just go for it. Worst that will happen is a rejection, which sucks, sure, but at least then you know and can stop pining like a teenager. I'm a married woman now, but I think it's a good sign. If a girl is making a lot of eye contact, turning her body toward him when he is talking, stopping what she is doing while he is talking. She might fiddle with her hair a lot, run a hand through it repeatedly, etc. Maybe she makes cute little mistakes. One time, my now husband stood next to me at a meeting at work. I think he could have asked me what 2 plus 2 equals, and I would have just said um. If she doesn't mind checking her phone or excessively digging through her purse while he is talking, she probably doesn't want to be more than friends. I usually bring up various places I like go, usually places to eat. It makes it easy for them to say hey want to go to, insert said location. Other than that I'll let my breast do the talking. So you're telling me that at the new year's party, when that friend sat next to me all night, made me drinks, laughed at my stupid jokes, asked if I was dating anyone, and then stood next to me at midnight, I probably should have gone for the kiss. You know writing it out like that makes me feel really stupid. I don't drop hints. That seems silly. Though with my current boyfriend, apparently he was flirting with me for a while and I didn't notice. We had a lot in common and eventually he just said he liked me and had feelings for me and I was pretty much oh. I have feels for you and we went from there. I'm pretty oblivious to flirting sometimes. All of the signs can be wrong or there can be zero signs whatsoever. I just asked out a girl I see a lot, have great rapport with, lingering eye contact, nothing but laughs and smiles, constant emoji heavy texting, and I actually asked her out for a drink, and she said yes, and we sat chatting, until she was late for a prior engagement, then we agreed we should really hang out again, but then a few days later, when I asked her out, to dinner she said oh, well thanks, but I think we should just be friends. I've also found out that a girl who acted like she hated everything about my existence actually wanted the D. The lesson? You'll never know. You just throw shit at the wall until something sticks. The best you can hope for is eventually somewhere in the line of constant rejection. You'll get lucky and then hang on for dear life. I think guys as a whole have a really hard time just taking the lead. I know. There are loads of girls who get that they can just ask a guy out, but this thread is obviously for the ones waiting for the guy to make the first move. So I'm not trying to be sexist so much as pragmatic with these thoughts. Hints are basically useless from a guy unless he wants her to ask him out. So don't hint, just ask her out if you're interested. And do it early, before you are devastated that it doesn't work out. A more recent philosophy of mine is to avoid cognitive dissonance. So don't act like you don't like someone if you actually do. And don't act like your heart will burn eternally for her if you are only sort of interested. So figure out what you're feeling and act appropriately. If you're only sort of interested, focus on just making eye contact or trying to make conversation. If you feel more strongly, ask her out for coffee or something chill like that. If you know her better 
and are serious about her. Ask her for dinner or a day trip or something that reflects your intentions, or clearly intend to work your way there. If it would be too weird to ask her that right away. Guys who just sit on the fence all day basically imply to their friend girls yeah, you're not really worth any risk, unfortunately. You're worth fantasizing about, but you're not worth any action, because then my ego might get wounded. If you know a quality woman and you want to actually be with her, pay her the compliment of asking her out, which says, you are worth asking out. And admit to yourself, that she is worth the risk of rejection. Or, sit on the fence moaning about what a nice guy you are, while passively insulting every girl you ever crush on. Your call. One more way to put it, if you want to be with someone heartbreakingly beautiful of character and body, it's usually some combination of the two. Volunteer to have your heart broken. If you can imagine someone that no guy, or girl, would ever want to be with enough to risk anything and you think, heck yes, those people are totally my type. Keep waiting around, and eventually you'll find someone desperate and clingy to whom you can remain comfortably indifferent for the rest of your life. Just my thoughts. TL. Doctor, take a swing, boys. Waiting for your pitch forever is the only way to guarantee that you strike out. Read these hints with the intention of fueling your courage, or else they will fuel your self-pity and neurosis.